blindness came upon humanity because Adam and Eve took their eyes off of God and put their eyes on the deceptive serpent. Their mind became blinded. You're going to see this momentarily. God sent Jesus to die for the sins of humanity and offer humanity a path back to God. A way back to God. So Jesus comes on the scene and he's talking to people. He said, this religion, that religion is... See, religion is man's attempt to reach God. Christianity, that is Christ-centric worship, is God's attempt to reach humanity. Got it? Religion is how can I earn my way to heaven? How can I make myself better so I can deserve heaven? That's religion. Religion is man striving to please God with all of his or her efforts. Christianity is about relationship. Relationship. Jesus says, he says, the Father sent me not into the world to condemn the world, but through me to world might be saved. That's right after John 3, 16, where he said the Father sent him because he loved the world. In verse 17, he said, now, I didn't come to condemn you. I came to preserve you. And it's a love mission, not a judgment mission. Watch this. Their eyes was open, but their minds were blinded. Their eyes were open, and they knew that they were what? Naked. And when we when we find out that we miss the mark, that's what the word sin means, miss the mark. When we fail God or we live in a failing life, when we find out that we're not doing right, the first thing we want to do is cover our mistakes up, cover our sin. What happens when you mess up? Do you confess? Do you say, say it's my fault? Or do you say, no, it was her fault, it's his fault? Do you own your mistake? Adam and Eve fail, and the first thing they did was cover themselves up with fig leaves because they were naked. And then God came at the appointed time because the Bible said he came every day, seven days a week. He didn't take a Sabbath off to be with them in the cool of the day. And he came to the meeting spot. See, some of you have been praying and praying and suddenly you stop. Going to church and suddenly you stop. Reading the Bible, suddenly you stop. But the Holy Spirit, watch this. He loves that time of fellowship with you. God loves that time of fellowship with you, but you don't cut it off. But he shows up at that same time and saying, where are you? And so God shows up and Adam and Eve is not in the spot no more. And now God is going in search. But then you read on, God told him, this is what I want you to do from now on. Every lamb that you offer to me, I want you to take that lamb in the house. I want your children to love it. I want y'all to love it. Treat it like a pet. Not like a, bring that lamb in and love on it. And that's the very lamb I want you to slaughter 